Hey everybody, how's it going? I was hoping to work on the Chevette today, but flipping snowing here in Michigan. It's been snowing for the past couple days and gonna have snow for a few more days. It's not really sticking to the ground, which is great. It's sticking more to our driveway than anything, but can't really do anything on the Chevette outside with the engine exposed getting a bunch of snow in it. So I figured I would swing by my dad's storage unit and check out his car that will be going up for sale pretty soon. It's a 1956 Pontiac Star Chief. So he bought this car from a guy who owned one back in the day. It was his first car or something and he restored this and or started restoring it and my dad had to have it so he purchased it and unfortunately it's been sitting in the storage unit for I don't know, a year or so, two years. Uh, car was actually driven from Lansing, Michigan out to Grand Rapids. Um, guy sat out a milk crate all the way out here. So as you can see, there is no interior in this car at this point. The seat's sitting over there. That may be the back seat or front seat, I don't know. But the car just sits in the storage unit. So under the hood of this fine automobile, we have the Pontiac engine. I know nothing about it other than it's a one barrel carburetor. And the engine was apparently rebuilt um, before it went back in the car. I don't have any paperwork to prove it. And so the transmission, I guess, was gone through as well. Um, Appears as though this is a 12 volt system on the car. But yeah, unfortunately with just sitting here in the storage unit, it's not doing any good right now. Uh, it's got a, looks like an aftermarket radiator on it. Um, it'd be a really cool car for someone to restore or finish restoring, you know. It's pretty clean. Paint job is, you know, pretty nice. Could be buffed out. That's a hand print, it looks like. Yeah, that's a hand print there. Let's go around to the other side. I wish I could put it outside, but I am not rolling it out in the snow and nor am I gonna try to push it back in by myself. So we're gonna kind of walk down the length of the car here. Apologize, it's, well, there's no window there. It's rolled down, I thought it was up. But you can see inside here, the car says it's got 12,708 miles, probably a hundred and something thousand. They uh, put floor pans in it. They're not 100% perfect, but they're in there. The interior's out. The windshield has been replaced uh, right before my dad got it. And his goal with this car was actually to fix it up and turn it into a cruiser uh, for the summertime. Got a bunch of trim and other things in the back. There's some stuff in the trunk. You know, the windshield's new. It's got a new gasket. Some of the trim is on, but not all of it. Got some pretty decent looking tires on it and the wheels were painted. Got nice Pontiac hubcaps on it. Put that down there. The body's you know really straight for this old of a car. I think the underbody of this car was actually, yeah. Underbody was painted and whatnot. What is that? So yeah, someone took the time to, you know, fix the car up and whatnot, but needs to be finished. Headliner. Found another seat over there. Not sure if that's front or back. Hinges are a little stiff, but I believe the wipers and things are at my dad's house. 
And they've got a bunch of other parts actually that came with this car. I know there's another hood, the old, another set of fenders, uh, some other wheels, sort of steelies and whatnot. Cool gas door hidden in there. My dad had a 56 Chevy. It wasn't a Bel Air, but it was a four door. It was kind of a cool car, a bit rough, but definitely something I would have drove. This one's just a little too nice for me. Bumper is needing re-chroming, but there we go. We got a radio and some dash trim and other bits and pieces. Maybe part of the heater system. Oh, well, there's the cowl. And some more of the windshield trim. Trunk pan seems to be original though, which is kind of cool. Wheel well down there is pretty nice. I just noticed the car has dual exhaust on it. Nice. I believe the taillights are in the barn with the parts that he has. But yeah, been inside in the garage since it was the restoration was started and hasn't seen any snow since the restoration was started. I don't know about snow beforehand, but it's not going to see any snow under my ownership or at least my care of the car. But like I mentioned, uh, my dad is going to be selling this car. Um, and I'm going to be using it to buy another project or something. So if anybody's interested in it, hit me up on the old uh, YouTube here or hit us up on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is the Lemons Little Yikes. Um, message me on there and if you guys are interested, I think uh, my dad paid 10000 for the car. It does have a title. Um, Queen Michigan title it would come with all the extra parts and obviously the car pretty sure we can get a battery in it get it started up for you so you can hear it but like I said it was driven from Lansing out here to Grand Rapids about a year ago and parked in the storage unit here so yeah if you have any questions about the car feel free to comment down below or you know like I said message us on Instagram Lemons Little Yikes and uh, we'll see you guys around in another video hopefully getting the Chevette running.